separation of duties and responsibilities. Well, you know what each individual employee is going to be doing. Now, what about their duties and responsibilities? Can they overlap or should they be separate? When you have employees or any other personnel that are dealing with secure information or secure systems, it's a good idea to keep the different people as separate as possible. The idea behind that and the reason behind that is not to foster distrust between employees, but to remove the possibility that two or more employees could work together to realize a threat against the system. If the responsibilities and their duties do not overlap and they have very distinct responsibilities, then again, you're reducing the risk. For example, let's assume we have two different system administrators. If both system administrators have full authority over two machines and they each can execute backup, restore privileges, or activities on both machines, then there could be a threat realized or an attack on either one of the machines. Perhaps confidential information could be stolen and it may not be obvious who actually caused the problem. On the other hand, if you do have very distinct separation of duties and responsibilities, you have one system administrator who is responsible for machine A, another person responsible for machine B, it cuts down the field of suspects when you're trying to figure out who actually lifted the backup tape or copied data off that shouldn't have been copied. It makes investigations easier, and it also reduces the possibility of attacks on your different systems.